Hello everyone. I am so happy to see you again. Today, for a tea time treat that we can enjoy in front of the Christmas tree in the parlor, I'm going to make some glorious granola cookies. This recipe is from one that I found online and I will link it in the description below. So the first thing we need is two cups or 260 grams of all-purpose or plain flour. And to the flour, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a whisk and then set these dry ingredients aside for a moment. On to the wet ingredients. I'm using my stand mixer, which is outfitted with a paddle attachment, but you could absolutely use a bowl and electric beaters, or even a bowl and a stout spoon. So I have 14 tablespoons, or 200 grams of unsalted butter, and I'm going to beat the butter just until it turns smooth. I forgot to mention that this is room temperature butter. Then I need a half cup or 100 grams of regular granulated sugar and two thirds of a cup of well packed dark or light brown sugar. That's 140 grams. And then I'm going to beat the butter and sugar together until the mixture turns fairly fluffy. Scrape down the bowl as necessary. The butter always tends to stick to the sides of the bowl. You want to make sure that everything is well incorporated. Now I'm going to beat in one large egg and one egg yolk. These are at room temperature. I'm also going to beat in one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. These are probably the healthiest cookies I've ever made in my life. This looks great. Now I need one and a half cups of granola. This is my own homemade granola, but you can absolutely use store-bought. I can post my recipe for granola in the description below. One and a half cups of granola is 190 grams. I did not add any dried fruit to this granola, but if your granola has dried fruit, that's perfectly fine. And either stir the granola in or just beat it in at low speed. My granola is sweetened with maple syrup, so this smells particularly yummy. Actually, I was supposed to add the flour mixture first, but I forgot. And that's perfectly fine because we just want to beat this in also at low speed. And that's it. Our batter is done, or rather, our cookie dough is done. Give this one good scraping. If your cookie dough looks particularly soft, as mine does, then just pop it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then we can form the cookies. While we wait for the cookie dough to chill, I'm going to clean up my workstation and then you and I can take a short trip to the local market to buy some inexpensive flowers. I want to make a simple arrangement for the parlor.
Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true We have the flowers. I will arrange them a little later in this video. Right now, it's time to make the cookies. So my oven has preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to use my large ice cream scoop to form these cookies. I don't know how much they're going to spread, so I'm going to space them, oh, about an inch and a half apart from each other. The recipe writer said to form the cookies into a ball and then flatten them like this. I'm not going to make all of the cookies today, but I will form the remaining cookie dough and I will freeze those cookies on a baking sheet and then I will pop the frozen cookies into a Ziploc bag and they will be ready for me to bake off at a later time. Very convenient to have cookies already formed in your freezer. I'm going to decorate the top of each cookie with a tiny amount of granola. Then gently press the granola into each cookie. And the granola should spread as the cookies spread. And then these go into the preheated oven for 14 to 16 minutes. These cookies are for the freezer. So this recipe, for me anyway, made 19 cookies. I find it's easier to flatten them out with the palms of my hands. I'm not sure if I should decorate them with granola before I freeze them or just before I bake them. I think I'll decorate them just before I bake them. These go into the freezer, and again, once they're solidly frozen, I will pop them into Ziploc bags. Well, these cookies certainly smell wonderful. You can smell the brown sugar and the maple syrup. Now, they did spread quite a bit, as you can see, but that's no problem because I can simply separate them with a spatula. Done. I'm going to let these cool on the baking sheet for about five minutes and then I will transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. In the meantime, let's work on that flower arrangement and afterwards we will light a fire, brew some tea, and taste one of these cookies. Let's grab some you. Wow, 
water, floral food, actually it's floral preservative. I know a lot of people will take flowers and just plunk them into a vase and call it a day. That's not how I roll. I always add greenery to my arrangements, no matter how simple the arrangements are. And the more greens you have, the fewer flowers you will need. I bought two bunches of Alstroemeria because they were very inexpensive and I probably won't use both bunches for this arrangement, but I will make another arrangement for my bedroom. I sleep better when there is a flower arrangement near my bed. And there we are, a nice little yellow and green Christmas arrangement for the parlor. I cannot wait to try one of these cookies with you. Obviously, coffee would go very well with these cookies, but I want tea. And here's the question. Do I want Earl Grey tea or autumnal Darjeeling tea? I'm going to go with Earl Grey today. This is the Earl Grey from Tierra Farm. And I buy their tea because it is the best Darjeeling and the most fragrant Earl Grey I have ever experienced. I have to be careful here because the last time I mentioned Darjeeling tea from Tierra Farm, the farm reached out to me and told me they nearly sold out of Darjeeling tea. Of course, it's all back in stock now. The farm gave me a code for free shipping that I can share with my viewers, and I will put that code in the description below. Into the parlor.
this is the most fragrant Earl Grey tea ever. And now, one of these cookies. And I will admit, these are monster-sized cookies. You might like to make yours smaller than this. These are very unusual cookies, and I mean that in the best way. They're unusually healthy tasting, but they are also sweet. They have a crisp edge, a slightly soft and chewy center. The edge has a wonderful crunch. I can really taste the molasses that I used for the granola, and I can taste the brown sugar that I used for the cookie dough. These are incredible cookies, my friends. Again, I will put a link to the recipe for these cookies in the description below. You might like to add these to your holiday cookie list. And speaking of holidays, in the comments below, let me know if you'd like to see more cookie recipes from me. I'm thinking of doing an episode called Five Days of Cookies. I do have a lot of cookies in my repertoire. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate your company. I can put a couple of my other videos up here or up here that you can watch between now and my next upload. In the meantime, please take good care of yourself. Check out these cookies. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.